Welcome to my channel. In this series, we're going to learn how to build a chat room from scratch. To keep us all sane, I will be creating a series of smaller videos instead of creating one huge video that no one wants to watch. Okay, here's what we will do step by step in each video. First, we will build a chat screen. Uh, just create the mockup in HTML, CSS. Then we will add some client-side JavaScript using a library called Vue.js. It's one of the really easy libraries to use and um, I really like it. So we'll see how that works. Third, we will then implement the actual chat functionality. And to do that, you know, we're gonna introduce quite a few things, including something called Node.js for the backend server, and then a concept called WebSockets, um, and a library called socket.io that actually implements WebSockets. And then we will do some cool things like showing who's online, you know, who's typing, and you know, join and left notifications of someone joins the room and if someone leaves the room. And then finally, we will add a multiple rooms functionality. So we will let the user switch rooms. You know, so if you can think of it as a community, then you could have multiple chat rooms and people could switch. So that's what we will build. Just to show you real quickly, I already have something prototyped here. Um, so this is my chat room right now. Um, showing me who's online so this is me right now and it also gives you all the notifications like who has joined so if i wanted to type here like hello you can see the chat message comes through with my image in this case it's hard coded uh, and then my username and the message and also the timestamp and then it also shows me if i'm typing you know i am typing it actually shows someone is typing so it shows like a pencil icon next to it so that's really cool. Uh, let me just uh, rearrange this window a little bit more. So it shows right next to the name. Okay, cool. All right, so that's what this is going to do. And if I hit enter, that typing goes away, the typing icon. Um, and then if I open this in a new tab, of course, so that the real time chat can actually be tested. So another user has joined and it, adds to the online user list. And on my first window, I can see that as well. So that's really cool. And if I quit, then it updates and it says that user has left and the online users list gets updated. So this is what we're gonna build. And in this example, we don't have the multiple chat rooms built yet, but I was hoping that as we go through this tutorial, we're gonna build it together. But this is what we're gonna start with. Um, okay, so let's get to coding. All right, so fun things. First, let's go to my terminal and I'm going to create a brand new project. So essentially we will recreate this project, but I'm gonna start from scratch, which is where the fun is. So I'm gonna create a new directory and let's call it chatty. And then I'm gonna get into that directory. And let's start a new um, code base. I'm using Visual Studio Code as my editor. If you're interested, you know, you can download it. It's cross-platform. I really like it. But of course, you can use any editor you want. So if I do a code dot, it's gonna open my Visual Studio Code. And I can now start doing some coding. So let's start with a simple index.html file and let's just create some boilerplate uh, by the way I did this using something called Emmet in case you're interested Emmet lets you do a lot of autofills and boilerplate yeah, for HTML so it's really cool anyway so let's give it a title um, and then what I'm going to do I'm going to use bootstrap for the CSS so it just makes our life a little bit easier um, so I'm just going to paste the CSS for Bootstrap under my head tag. I already had it copied, so here it is. And now we're ready to, um, you know, do some coding. You know what? Let me just make sure that the font size is actually larger. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've increased the font size a little bit, so it uh, makes our life easier to see, especially on videos. 
Okay, so now let's just to uh, add something to the body. So bootstrap, I'm going to do a two column grid, right? Because if you look at this window here, I have on the left, the online users and on the right, the chat window. So this is going to be a two column and this is going to be a 10 column uh, so that I can complete my 12 column grid. Okay, so let's do that. So let's do class equals to md2. That's going to be my first div. Uh, and then my second div. Right, and then let's just indent this code a little bit. Um, okay, so within these columns for now, let's just put some text to see how it looks. We're gonna save this. Let's open. Um, right now this is just an index.html file so I'm just gonna open that okay so of course right now it's not a whole lot of stuff but you can see the online users and my chat window so I've got the two columns in here now okay so let's start some fun stuff here um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add a bootstrap class called panel so essentially it's going to give me um, the panel look that I had on the other window right on the initial chat window so let's do that so let's now add div and we're gonna call it the class of panel and panel usually is divided into three parts like heading body and footer so we're gonna do panel heading here Okay, so now we have that, and oops. Okay, so now here, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to add a Glaphicon so I can see my user icon. So again, Bootstrap provides you that. So let's just do that. I already have that ready. So I'm gonna copy paste my class. And then I'm just gonna say online. And maybe I'll show a count for now I'm just just gonna hard code it to 10 or like say 5 something like that okay so we do that and that takes care of the number of online users and then we can show in the after right after uh, the online heading let's add an unordered list okay and then here we're just gonna say you know maybe a list item of user one or something like that and then right now I'm just gonna hard code everything so user two okay and now let's just close the unordered list and we're good to go so with this so let's save it and if I refresh my page here, I can see the online users. Hard-coded list. So let's just finish the chat window side as well. Okay, so for the uh, chat window side, we're just going to create a container that shows me uh, all the chat. Uh, so we're going to use another div. This is going to be our custom class and I will write some code there but let's just say um, class equals to and again I'm just gonna use panel and this time I'm gonna do panel panel primary so this one is actually going to show me a primary panel which usually has a background color on the top and then again I'm gonna add a div inside that div which so let's close this div right now I'm gonna wrap all of this with heading oops I mean panel heading
okay and then let's close that and then maybe we want to add some text on that so we can just say something like let's chat and then we uh okay so we closed panel heading right so that's good uh, let's add another div which is uh, the panel body and we can close this div and then inside that we're going to just show like you know a list of chats so again for now let's just create an unordered list and then inside that we're going to do ally oops and then um i guess it's just going to be message maybe add another one Such two okay so <clears throat> let's see what this looks like okay so this obviously is a little, you know, unprofessional at this time, but at least it looks like we have the panel ready. Okay, so now let's do a couple of things here. Um, we also need to add a text box at the end so that we can type the message. So let's do that. So for that, I'm just going to create a um basically a footer so let's say so where's the body closing here so we're going to add another div now we'll call it class equals to panel footer again these are all standard bootstrap classes um and in here maybe we can add a form right and then we're just going to close the form and inside the form, let's just wrap an input type equals to text. Okay. And maybe class equals to form control, which is, um, you know, the bootstrap class and then input large. Okay. So let's just do that. And then maybe placeholder equals to something type chat here now let's close that input so that takes care of my form okay so and then you know i've got all the divs and the body closing okay so save all this just just you know indent everything all right so i have everything here now Okay, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, so we got the chat. Now, real quick, we're going to, of course, add some height on this chat window because it doesn't look nice. By default, you, we want to fix the height a little bit. So, uh, so now we need to add some custom CSS of our own. So for now, so let's just do that actually. Um, we go back here and we're going to add a new file called main.css so this is going to be our CSS and then um, basically we need to wrap this um, the entire chat window this one into uh, in with a height so we can add a class to that so we're going to just say some Thing like this ID so I'm going to create a ID is live chat container uh, again I, I just copied pasted it because I had it copied before I'm going to add use an ID and I'll show you why I'm using an ID not a class but anyway for now that's what we're going to do and then once we close that uh, div so we need to of course then you know close this div Oh, at the end.